Hi everyone, today I have a new charger from Xstar. This is their latest, most powerful charger Xstar ever made. This, char this charger is brand new and provided by Xstar for me to review. So thank you Xstar for sending me this charger. I really, really, really interesting how this uh, charger work and if you see at the side of the box you can see that it charge lithium ion imr inr and icr it won't charge your nickel nitride hydride or nickel cadmium it says in lithium but you won't be able to charge your double a lithium battery or cr123 rechargeable lithium because of the the smallest battery it can charge is 18650 it also officially charged the, the newer the latest form fact, lithium four factor which is 2700 and 21700 which is um i'm happy that manufacturing is starting to to recognize and 2700 as a newer or a future form factor for charger and maybe for flashlight i haven't seen uh, extra flashlight using 20 or 21700 and this is the X-Star anti-anti-counterfeit, which I haven't scratched. <laughs> I suppose this is original. This is genuine product because X-Star itself themselves sent me to send it to me by DHL. So let's open the box. If I can open it, the box itself is feels expensive and hefty. Why is it really hefty? Because I suppose. It contains an, a power adapter, a separate uh, power supply. So let's open it up. The charger itself. This is the front side. It says channel one, if you can read it. Come on. Channel one, channel two. Two button only so on the front LCD side you only got two buttons which I really like make it simple it has a pushable temperature sensor which uh, I think it's made of metal know, it must be made of metal and slight and curve to follow the curvature of the battery itself so it will make proper contact and the sliding mechanism is okay nothing to complain about I think this is one of the better uh, quality or compared to other charger that I have positive on this side so unlike your most of the charger and the if you have a flat top button a uh, flat top battery it it will make contact without problem because the positive positive side is is slightly raised this is the back side with fan hole, a DC jack, 12 volt DC jack. You've got two 5 volt output to charge your mobile phone. No, this is not a power bank function as I, show, as I will show you this. This is not a power, jack, power bank function, so you won't be able the, to charge your mobile phone using your rechargeable battery. So yeah, it's probably you're probably asking too much, but yeah, it it, it, it would be nice if we if we were be able to charge to function as a power bank. But uh, this this port will only active if you plug in the DC jack from here. So basically, what it do it will it will replace your your wall adapter or USB charger. So you can use this instead and. In, and you don't have to carry your, when you travel you don't have to carry your power adapter so you can charge two i think two is generous one is okay but X, i think star is being nice and so provide us with two uh, five volt output so let's see the rest of the box the manual and two more boxes one is heavy one is not Uh, this is the power adapter. It says, yeah, it says four amps in here. 
So this is, uh, I'm not sure how true that rating is, but it says 4M in the end cable with, with strap, with vel velcro strap here. Let's plug it in. So it uses your standard uh, kettle, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, I see something, it's your typical two-prong adapter without ground, so just plug. There's supposed to be a pilot lamp here, but it doesn't light up, let's see if it's worth it. Either way. Okay, that worked, it's working. 4M, 4M, it cycles through 2M, 1M, and then, yeah, it back to 1, 4.1 amps. Yeah, let's, let's try a, a battery. Also, uh, remember, positive this side. So it it waits a few seconds before it recognizes the battery. It says briefly eight, 11 milliohm. So it also measures uh, internal resistance. I'm not sure how reliable that is, but it's supposed to be comparable on the same charger. And in my in my experience, they are not comparable between different chargers. So. If you keep using it, using the same charger, you might be able to see how your condition of your battery depending on your internal resistance. So now plug in second battery. This is two six fifty batteries. So let's unplug it and count. One, two, three. Or so it, it will there's a delay between and plugging in the battery and the and it, it recognized the charger it recognized the battery yeah run five seconds so what happened if I plug this battery in reverse okay it says ER uh, besides zoom is error so it won't blow the charger won't blow up in your face when you plug it in the reverse which is nice and nice protection um yeah it also has temperature readings what i like about this charger is that the display is simple bright easy to read even on an odd angle quality of the LCD is really nice yeah still visible only if the contrast you got different color but the display itself is quite sharp and, and it doesn't cite the information on the display doesn't cycle between different things so what you see is actually what you get here so you don't have to wait anything but I noticed that you don't get the internal resistance anymore. So you just get the reading after you initially you plug your battery. So you only if you want to read your internal resistance, you have to unplug the battery and plug it again. Nine milliohms. I'm not sure how correct that is. But larger battery usually has lower internal resistance. So it also has temperature reading. 29 and this one is 30 which makes sense this one is going to be hotter because 4 amps yeah so this is now currently charging let's charge it 4 amps on each slot as you can see there is there is supposed to charge your probably in around one hour 
and let's try the charging function on this let's charge my mobile phone let's zoom it a bit I think while charging my mobile phone it's also charged my still charging my battery both of them at 4.1 amps wow this is this would be this is really useful so you don't have to carry your mobile phone charger separately if you travel but too bad it doesn't charge uh, nickel metal hydride hydride or nickel cadmium because I'm my my speed light is still using uh, nickel metal hydride uh, track as a battery so yeah this is not quite that if you if your battery collection are all lithium this is perfect charger for you but yeah, it's getting hotter now the battery 32 31 yeah the to be able to charge a mobile phone with this it's quite handy but um, the downside of this uh, 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 display is that it doesn't show you the accumulated charger charging capacity so you, you won't be able to know <clears throat> how much capacity you put back in into the battery so it just show you the percentage of the, the battery itself so no, I'm fine. It, it's fine for me because it get. I mean, on this charger, you got a fast charger, but I suppose you can't ask for everything. But well, I'm happy with this. A really straightforward charger, no fast, no problem, and only came with two buttons. So, um. Thank you for watching until the end. Please like or subscribe or ask a question and comment in the uh, comment section. Um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.